Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us on this uh, inaugural live stream. Uh, we are very excited to start bringing some science back to you, uh, and uh, be sure to keep a lookout on our, all of our Facebook pages for even more uh, ways you can participate. Hey, wait a minute. Who's that guy? Oh, <laughs> April Fools! <laughs> that was Patrick four years and 99 live streams ago. Hello everyone, welcome to our final Planetarium live stream. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you're staying dry out there. There's some storms going on. Hopefully the power will stay uh, for the whole show. Um, but uh, welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. So I am Patrick Hess, Planetarium Manager at Union Station. This is Emily, my lovely fiance, who's just gonna be hanging out tonight uh, for the show. And we're just gonna be reminiscing um, about the past four years and 99 streams and we're squeezing in um, and we're keeping it casual. So this is our 100th live stream, everyone, uh, and our final regular live stream. Um, so I hope uh, whoever's watching tonight enjoys. Um, we've got Chrissy uh, already in the comments saying that the Taylors are excited. Hello, everyone. Thanks for watching tonight. I see you uh, next <laughs> Um, and yeah, to everyone who's tuning in, uh, this is a live stream. So if you're watching on April 1st, 2024 at 6 p.m. Central, um, then let us know you're watching in the comments. This is your last chance. Um, and we'd love to hear uh, who is watching, where you're watching from. Uh, and then if you have any questions tonight, um, throw those out. And we're just going to kind of keep it casual. And most of tonight, I'm just going to be reminiscing about the past shows uh, and um, hopefully getting some good reactions from Emily. <laughs> Got a couple surprises uh, mixed in there. Uh, as well. But um, yeah, so this is our 100th stream, uh, almost 90 hours of content. And if you are a recent a, a watcher or a first time watcher, well, this is our 100th show. Uh, and be sure to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Casey Planetarium, because there are recordings of all of those sh uh, past shows there. Um, and we'll go over some highlights tonight. Uh, Sherry down the hall is saying congrats <laughs> on 100. Thanks for tuning in, Sherry. Um, if you want to make a cameo appearance, feel free to come knock <laughs> on the door. door. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, we hit 350,000 views on last month's show, um, which is pretty incredible, pretty amazing amazing milestone. Um, and, uh, and yeah, we're uh, I'm, I'm just thrilled that I made it this far, quite honestly. And... You know, uh, this show is just going to kind of be not a grand finale, but more of a coda at the end of this this uh, crazy four years. Um, so, yeah, there have been a lot of exciting things. Uh, maybe should we start uh, uh, with a Phoebe cameo just at the beginning oh, of the show? Sure. Or should we save I that can, for later? I'll go get I'll go get Phoebe. All right. We're going to we're going to see if Phoebe will join us and see how long she lasts um, for the show tonight. All right. She's been cooped up and playing. Oh, we've got Tammy, one of our top fans and maybe our longest time watcher. Hi to both of you from Iowa. We'll miss you, Patrick. We'll miss you too, Tammy. But um, whenever, whenever you're in town, Kansas City, and then uh, oh, we got a we got a bird loose flying around. <laughs> and we've got Tina, who's it's their first time tuning in. Well, Tina, welcome tonight. Um, it's going to be a bit diff bit of a different show than we've done in the past. Um, for all of our first time watchers, we have been streaming. Um, mostly monthly over the past couple years, but in 2020, um, we did streams pretty much every week, uh, a couple times a week sometimes. Um, and uh, we've done a variety of things throughout these shows. We have, um, we've done uh, star tours, seasonal star tours, and we've been done looks at current events um, and, and things in the news and relating to astronomy and space science. <laughs> Uh, and I've done a bunch of deep dives, uh, hour-long shows, diving into a, a topic in astronomy. And, of course, my lovely assistant Phoebe has joined for many of these shows. Phoebe is a um, rose-breasted cockatoo, or gala, as they're called uh, in her homeland in Australia. Gala. <laughs> gala means fool in uh, Aboriginal slang. Uh, and she is very silly. And we'll, we'll see how long she lasts. Uh, and how much poop we get on our shoulders. Judy in the comments is saying, Hi, Patrick. Hi, Mom. Thanks for watching, Judy. <laughs> uh, Phoebe's very excited you're watching tonight as well. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Um, so uh, the little, little fun little uh, joke I pulled with the footage from my very first <laughs> stream um, was uh, 
pretty fun to go back to. Oh, we've got my mom, Lauren, saying hi uh, from her and Barb as well. Uh, and New Smyrna Beach. Uh, hey, uh, I was there about 24 hours ago. Um, but uh, thanks for watching tonight, guys. And uh, thanks for all of your support for all of these shows. Um, so this is our 100th episode, uh, and I put together a fun little uh, time lapse um, of my face. Uh, so let's... Um, uh, let's uh, do that. Nope, I want to do that. There we go. Oh, gosh. Um, so, I'll make this kind of smaller. Um, so this is going to be a time lapse <laughs> of my face as it's changed over 100 episodes, which is uh, it was pretty entertaining to put together. I got a little bit different. Um, and, oh, yes, do note the... Um, yeah, keep an eye on this patch of gray <laughs> beard hair. That's the, that's the thing to keep an eye on, so... I'm just gonna kind of well maybe play this a couple times, but there was my very first stream going through. You can see the beard. I that was that was my COVID beard. Oh, shaved off there. The only time I fully shaved my beard over the past four years. Um, a lot of a lot of beard shots getting. Oh, and I got a new ch office chair. Very exciting. A ukulele thrown in there. Black and white picture. Oh, oh and Phoebe. some Phoebe shots. Maybe we'll go through slower one at a time. But and I've worn this red shirt the whole time. How do you like that? Um, Oh, you see the hair starting to get a little yeah. bit oh, longer. Oh, man, yeah. Uh, oh, towards oh, the middle, oh, I started oh. growing my hair out. And then, oh, and that's and that a, last that's one was the man bun. Um, <laughs> scratch, scratch indeed, BB. Oh, yeah. So there's the, that was the COVID beard. And then, ooh, look at that. Look at that baby face. Ooh, man. What do you think? Hey, love you so much. <laughs> the beard is here to stay, I think. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, everybody is uh, in the... Oh, Phoebe, wow! Phoebe's very excited for some comments. Hi, Dad. Uh, Dad is Tina's so saying. saying she is stunning, uh, obviously referring to my fiance Phoebe. Emily. Oh. oh, and Phoebe, probably. Uh, and Rusty's in the comments saying, Hi, Patrick and Emily. We're watching from El Dorado Springs, Missouri. Thanks for watching that, Rusty. Uh, and let me know if you have any great questions. You are always an amazing source questions. of questions. You oh, can no ask, such thing as a bad question. You don't have to ask great questions. They can be... <laughs> semi-okay questions as well. Oh, we've got Patience, uh, another name I recognize, one of our uh, longtime supporters. Um, Hi, it's sad that we are closing out these streams, so don't worry. Uh, again, recordings of all of our past shows are on our YouTube yes. channel. Oh, thank you. Uh, and Jerry, another one of our longtime fans, saying, hello, any singing or playing this episode, LOL? Who knows? We'll see. You'll just have to stick around at the end <laughs> to find out. Patience says, Hi, Brady. I'm at work in Columbia, Missouri, so I get to just listen for a bit. Love the hair, too. Girl, switch that hair for him. Uh, referring to, oh yeah, or Phoebe. Phoebe, switch your hair. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, good bird. Wow. All right, oh yeah, we're, we were looking at this. There's the facial hair going up, going back. Switching to some rainbow backdrops. And then, uh, oh, some retrospectives. Uh, there was my black and white live stream where I looked at some space mysteries. Maybe we'll, we'll replay that intro. That was pretty fun. Um, we did a, for one of our episodes, oh, wow, 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 wow. he's very excited. <laughs> uh, we did a, I know Phoebe, we did a behind the scenes uh, tour um, of the planetarium, which was my very high quality iPhone from like five years ago. Um, Phoebe, what do you think? And then, oh, then the beach stream, definitely. Oh, show the baby Phoebe. One. Oh, and then, yes. So there's a, uh, there's Phoebe as a very, very young birdie. Maybe I'll, I'll try to pull up. Now that video, that was what that was right after. Look at that. Oh, there look, we go. Look yeah. at that little birdie. Phoebe. Phoebe used to be scratch. a lot more gray. She was just scratch. a baby scratch. She was scratch. just a baby scratch. Baby scratch. Holly says hi. Hi, Holly. Thanks hi. for watching tonight. Um, and there's, yep, there's Phoebe. Uh, a regular cameo appearance. Uh, it's that, this shirt still somehow fits. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, ooh, it's very thundery outside. Oh, and then my VR live stream. That was a lot of fun. We're going to watch a little bit of that one for sure. Uh, and then, oh, some ukulele. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, it was right around here, probably, that I met Emily. So you can probably see my, hopefully my facial hair is a little bit more manicured. Um, <laughs> oh, and then, oh, yeah, here we go. Here's when my hair started growing out. Oh, and then the glasses disappeared. Boink. <laughs> Uh man. And then, oh yeah, the man bun final appearance. Which of, was last time. The only appearance of the man bun and also final. Uh, and then, yeah, my uh, my current flowing locks. Um, 
So yeah, so uh, I just wanted to kind of do some other retrospectives about the shows. Uh, here's a fun little fact. Um, so I've, I take notes for all these live streams, obviously, um, and uh, I kept keep an archive of them. And uh, my document with all the notes from all of my live streams is 463 pages long. <laughs> uh, so don't say I never put any work to these live streams, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that everybody was thinking that. <laughs> All these topics. So the first bunch of shows, um, the first 69 shows, right yeah. until we uh, switched back to monthly streams, um, I did a weekly deep dives into a bunch of different awesome topics, and we'll we'll talk about a few of those. Um, but uh, here's here's a little. Uh, little cameo of some spreadsheets for all you data nerds out there. Oh. Um, but uh, here's a spreadsheet. I keep track of all the viewership numbers. So we did just hit uh, 350,000 views uh, on the last uh, month's show. Uh, and then you can see all the, the categories. Uh, so we did uh, three shows a week while we were locked down for COVID, which there was kind of crazy. <laughs> and the bird is now climbing down my arm. Um, and then all the purple shows were all of our deep dive programs. I think I counted and there were like something like 40 or 50 of those, um, which is pretty crazy. But here's a, here's a fun chart of, uh, our viewership was definitely going up quite a bit until Union Station reopened and then we switched to monthly shows, but it's still steadily increased. So thank you to everyone who's continued to support and watch, um, if anybody is still watching. Um, where did my, let's go, there they are. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, oh, here's some uh, fun behind the scenes shots of my very first uh, setup, which was at my my old um, my old apartment. Uh, this was back when we were locked down in COVID and I really didn't have access to anything. I <laughs> uh, used an ironing board and a table and some binder clips and a green uh, bed sheet. Um, although my, the green bed sheet has not uh, changed much, I will say, because um, it's pretty much, well, the green bed sheet is still behind us. but. It's held up by something a little bit fancier, I would say. Um, tweet, tweet, scratch. scratch. Phoebe, you're off camera. Here you are. Scratch, scratch. Phoebe, you're the most entertaining thing about this. I mean, yes. This show right now. Um, let's go back through some of my favorite moments. What do you think? All right. So, scratch. All right, so our YouTube channel, youtubecom Planetarium. smash that subscribe button. <laughs> You can tell I was really destined to be a streamer. <laughs> uh, I did make some playlists, um, which is nifty. Uh, so uh, let's see what all the deep dives. Sweet, sweet. Uh, oh yeah, 50 deep dives. Ooh, that's a nice round number. Scratch indeed. Um, here, I'm going to turn the desktop audio on, but we shouldn't get any feedback from it. Um, so uh, yeah, I've done a bunch of interesting shows. Um, probably some of my, my, my favorite uh, moments and highlights were, um, no, actually I'm going to mute the desktop audio. Um, so uh, I did a stream all about telescopes in my living room where we, uh, where I set up a telescope um, and uh, talked about all the different parts. And this was my first foray into kind of changing up my, uh, my camera angles there. I think I had my computer plugged into my TV at one point. Um, while I was trying to get this set up. Uh, oh, there's the, look at the sidebirds growing in. Let me yeah. think about that. <laughs> Dumping, oh. babe. Oh, thank you, thank you. Patient says, uh, wow, now will those things still be available? Like to build a rocket where you build it and try to send it off the planet so many uh, live streams ago. Yes, oh my gosh, yeah, we'll, I'll talk about that one. But yeah, all these shows are still available on our YouTube channel. Uh, and I've got lofty goals to like edit these down to, to shorter clips that we can repost and uh, kind of have available in more of a, um, you know, an edited format. Um, so, and now that, you know, I'm scaling away my, my live shows, I'll have time to kind of mess with that. Um, but uh, lovely close-ups of my hand. Uh, oh, and there's, <laughs> that's, that's, this was, I think, when I just grabbed my camera and took everybody on a motion sickness ride while I was trying to show everybody the parts of the telescope. But that was a pretty fun stream and I uh, got some pretty good, um, some pretty good engagement from everybody. Um, but uh, some of my favorite shows I did were, were the ones I, wow, 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 Phoebe. The ones where I looked at, um, I'm gonna put you right here. You're still on stream, there we go. Um, Please don't poop on my pants. 
So um, some of my favorite shows were when I took deep dives into um, universes of fiction. So I started with uh, books, but I also looked at television and movies and uh, different um, different things like that. And so I talked about the science of Terry Pratchett's Discworld novels, um, which exist on a flat earth, uh, riding on top of four elephants, which are in turn riding on top of a giant turtle. Um, and we talked about the science of how that might work. And I actually looked at the uh, physics of a flat earth too, and what it would be like to walk to the edge of the flat earth. Here's some inception, us watching a YouTube channel of me watching a YouTube channel. <laughs> But uh, this is really cool, just seeing how if a flat Earth actually existed, as you walk to the edge, you would actually kind of be leaning over because the gravity will be pulling you towards the center of the disc. Maybe you're right out of... Oh, you're about to fly She's on about the to fly green away. screen. Well, yeah. you're, you can poop on the green screen all you want at this point. Wow, wow. Um, there she goes. There she goes. I think it might be time to put her back. Put the bird back. Okay, every, wait, we'll, we'll give Phoebe one last appearance. Okay. Don't chew on it. Come here. Okay. Oh, Rusty asked a question last asked a question last month at the end of the stream, but I didn't have time to answer. Oh no, Rusty, I'm sorry. Um, will they not be able to refuel the James Webb Space, Space Telescope before it dies? Uh, well, let's say goodbye to Phoebe first, and then I'll answer that question. Phoebe, say bye to everybody. Stretch. It's very I'm yeah, very blown out on camera. Okay, Phoebe, you want to say goodbye? Give everybody kisses. Stretch. Phoebe. Stretch. Phoebe. Give me, give me kisses. That's one way I know. Get her to do it. Oh, oh upside down bird. Oh, Phoebe. <laughs> He's not a fan. Phoebe. Give me kisses. Scratch. Scratch. Give me kisses. Good bird. Great. All right. Bye, Good Phoebe. Good job. Okay. <laughs> bye, bye. All right, Rusty. So to answer your question about the James Webb Space bye. Telescope, um, unfortunately, we'll, we will not be able to refuel it in orbit. Now, the Hubble Space Telescope um, is orbiting... Uh, very close to Earth, and when we had the space shuttle in operation, we could get to it pretty easily and service it um, relatively simply. Uh, the James Webb Space Telescope, on the other hand, is really far away from Earth, and it's actually not even orbiting the Earth. It's actually really orbiting the Sun. It's kind of trailing close to the Earth, and so to actually get to it and stay close to it and then get home will require so much fuel that it really wouldn't be realistic. So they designed the James Webb Space Telescope <laughs> Um, with a lot of backups and safety features, and Phoebe is just like, really... She does not want to go back. Oh, she can hang out with us, fine. She's not causing too many problems. All right. It's okay. She, she said no thank she you. She said, I'm still part of this stream. Uh, oh, no, she's just climbing back there. Oh, well. This is the chaos of our home. Uh, and maybe our, our other furry friend will make a cameo appearance. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, unfortunately, we'll not be able to refuel James Webb Space Telescope, but... Um, we did do a show about the James Webb Space Telescope and its launch, and a uh, long story short, its launch was really successful, and it only used, we'll say it used about half the fuel that they planned on it using, and so it'll be able to last twice as long as their original mission goals. So hopefully the Webb Telescope will be able to stay there for at least 20 years for its primary mission. When it loses fuel, it'll still be in a stable enough position where it can do some science, just not all this uh, deep science that it's originally, originally was planned for, but... Um, so uh, it still has a long lifespan, even though we can't refuel it. Um, <laughs> a patient says, I love the bird in space. Uh, of course, some of you wow, thank you, patients, for you know, your kind words. Uh, Rhonda says, bye, Phoebe. Well, Phoebe's still she's there. She's back. Uh, she's back. She decided she it wasn't She time doesn't to really have that. rules. And yeah, she, it, well, she rules the house. Yes. Um, so one of my favorite things... Uh, to do um, on these uh, universes of fiction uh, shows were uh, to use this uh, ooh, nope <laughs> to use this software called Universe Sandbox, where we could do a 3D uh, 3D experiments with uh, well the universe. And I figured it could be fun um, to pull that out for just a minute and kind of uh, do some Universe Sandbox experiments. I don't think I've ever showed you this uh, software. Um, but uh, hopefully my computer doesn't melt. That did happen once when I was doing the last oh, stream. Oh, um, Look at Phoebe just sticking her little head over there. Um, She's going to chew on the chair. That's, well, chew that's less chair. fine. I'll stand on this piece of poop on my shoulder that you put there earlier. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's fine. All right, All right. So, so Universe Sandbox is like a simulation of space. <clears throat> um, and we can do um, really crazy things in it. So I'm going to pull up 
uh, we'll just pull up a simulation of the Earth. Where's the Earth? The Earth. <laughs> We'll do a new empty simulation. So uh, you can do things like um, I'm going to add a planet. So I'll just add Earth right there. There's there's the Earth. Uh, but then we could do things like uh, shoot the moon at it. So if I switch it to launch mode, I can take the moon and I can launch it at the Earth. And we can see what happens. Bad stuff. Only good mostly. things, obviously. Yeah. So don't shoot the moon at the Earth. Um, Ruined my evening plans. Do you have any uh, simulations? You can switch out planets too. So, like, what if the uh, what if Jupiter became another sun or anything like that? Do you have any ideas of? Well, this you're putting me on the spot here. I, know, I didn't, I didn't yeah. know that we were going to do this. <laughs> uh, let's see. I want to. I want just the solar system. Tweet tweet. So if we pause. I can, I can, okay, let's, let's, uh, let's do this. I'm going to make the sun here and I'm going to replace it with something. So, uh, you pick. Black hole. Okay. Black hole. Cool. Um, can do. Which black hole? <laughs> uh, have a black hole the same size as the sun? Sure. Okay. Well, do they is, have this names? This is good, actually. Uh, well, this is, this is an, an unnamed black hole, but it's oh, the okay. same size as the sun. So if I replace it you with the black it, hole. Um, and then I'm going to uh, pull up the Earth here, and we can actually uh, look at the Earth um, and its sort of average temperature. So um, so I have time paused here, but I replaced the sun with a black hole the exact same mass as the sun. But I want you to predict what do you think will happen when I press play. Um, well, remind me, is a black hole's gravity like greater than our sun? Ooh. Or is it... Well, a, the gravity of an that, object like... will be based only on the mass of the object. Right, so it's the same... If it's the same, same, then theoretically the planets, their motions won't change. So they'll actually keep going around. Now, if you look at the average temperature of Earth... Oh yeah, no, we're all dead. <laughs> it's going down For sure. quite a bit. Um, so Bringing back that ice age. So if we, you know, zoom Forever. in on the Earth, it's uh, probably getting kind of icy there. Um, yeah, not great. But you know what? The Earth is still going around. It's still, it's still happy. Um, relatively probably speaking. happier now that um, humans are gone. <laughs> very true. Um, so that's fun. Oh, thank you for oh, biting my no arm, bites. Phoebe. So yeah, a lot of fun experiments to do with universe sandbox is this a free program can anybody get this or um this... i think this one's like 20 dollars, so not mm -hmm. free but i think there's actually like an iphone app now though which is kind of cool um but uh do you want to do another simulation um maybe maybe it's time to... yeah you want me to put her back smooth <laughs> we're vamping we're vamping <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave you at the controls. Oh, no. So the next 100 streams will be Emily uh, in charge. And... Come here, baby. Oh, there's a nice big old piece, uh, pile of poop on the green screen. All right. Nice. I will be right back. Okay. Okay, dance for a minute. Uh, um, I'm going to get my cat. I'm going to pick up, I'm gonna pick up my cat. She does not like to be held, so this is going to be very, very short. This is Bellamy, and she's my angel. This is our child. Hello. Okay, she's she all died. done. <laughs> Great. Good job. And we're back. Minus bird. Ah, oh, right. This is a really organized show. Thank you all for tuning in. It's great. Oh, yeah, if this is your first time watching, most of them have been a lot mm. more organized than this. This is your first time watching, maybe stop. Ah, no, we gotta get the clicks. All right. <laughs> Remember, if you're watching, if somehow you're still watching, uh, in the comments section, let us know. And uh, mm. if you have any questions, throw those out there. Uh, so what are some other fun things uh, that I've done? Um, oh, we, so I did a whole show about Harry Potter astronomy, which was actually very cool. Shout outs to Sherry if you're still watching. She wrote this, uh, most of this program. Um, and basically, for those uh, of you who don't know, 
Um, and J.K. Rowling actually based many names and spells and other things on uh, things from science and astronomy mostly. Um, so the biggest one probably being, um, well, there was, so the constellation Draco, uh, that is obviously the character Draco um, related to that. Yes, and so uh, Bellatrix, uh, Bellatrix Lestrange is actually the name of one of the stars in the constellation Orion. Uh, and let's pull up Orion the Hunter. Ooh, there we go. There's Bellatrix. Bellatrix. Um, so but Bellatrix is the upper right star of Orion. So that one right there. Um, and then um, the armpit. Yes, the armpit. Uh, and fitting. then the brightest star in the night sky, which is near Orion, is uh, named Sirius. And Sirius is called the Dog Star because it's part of Canis Major, the Big Dog constellation. Uh, and no spoilers, but if you are a Harry Potter fan, you'll realize the connection there between Sirius and the Dog Star. Um, so that was really fun. I'd encourage you to check that one out if you want to learn all about uh, how Harry Potter relates to astronomy. Uh, we did a lot of other um, deep dives into many different sky cultures. These are some of the shows that I was most proud of. Um, where we looked at astronomy outside of Western astronomy. So most of the constellations and mythology is related to Greek mythology. Um, but, um, you know, there are many different sky cultures uh, out there. And, uh, you know, the peoples of other continents like Africa and Asia have all sorts of different uh, views of astronomy and different uh, constellations. And uh, using a piece of software that is free called Stellarium, you're able to mm -hmm. look at all of those different sky cultures. Um, Taylor says, hi, Patrick. Haven't seen one of these streams in forever. Hope you're doing well. Uh, right back at you. Hope you are doing well as well. Thanks for tuning in for our final live stream. Um, but if you've missed uh, the past bunch of them, then uh, go back and uh, watch some of those recordings. Um, here is our first copyright strike, which is very exciting. Um, don't worry, Ben. I'm not going to pull up the actual footage. Um, but uh, during our deep dive of Saturn... Um, we, I, I used some uh, footage that uh, I was made to believe was uh, accessible for use, but um, we did get uh, hit by that. But we re-uploaded it uh, kosher, and it was totally fine. Okay. But I uh, just go well, to show you. It uh, was some footage them. from uh, the BBC of um, Saturn. The BBC. I know. I think if I show just a, a still from it, um, it was basically uh, showing the formation of Saturn's rings. So Saturn's <laughs> rings actually used to be an icy moon. That got too close to Saturn and due to something called tidal forces was ripped apart. And so uh, it became the rings of Saturn. So <clears throat> that was a lot of fun. So um, back in 2020, I did uh, create a comet in my living room. Um, but that comet was, it was okay. Uh, it was uh, missing some uh, key ingredients. Um, but uh, luckily, that uh, key ingredient was one I discovered uh, the following year in 2021. Uh, and so just a few months ago, uh, Emily and I um, made a, a comet in our kitchen, which was, that was pretty fun. Do you have, it any, was very fun. Do you have any reflections about how that one went? <laughs> um, we still have the oven mitts that were destroyed in the process. <laughs> they were very destroyed. Uh, look at my hair is getting kind of long there, but definitely not as long as it is now. Um, and let's get to the when we when we had the. I was holding the thing. <laughs> That's a comet. Yep, and there we need the hair dryer to make a comet tail that you really can't see on camera. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you did great. <laughs> and Emily's like, what do I do? Now? What do I do with this now? It was like bubbling. It was weird. It was making a lot of strange sounds, yeah. and uh, it also stuck to the glove. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're you are in, you're being a great sport oh, oh, no. oh incredible that was a lot of fun i think you did manage to, to oh yes there's a whole bunch of <laughs> i haven't seen this have you not rewatched no, it i don't I know not. Yeah, you can see the smoke. Yeah, there the we head. go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and that's sad. Like, that's 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 
Amazing. That was that was great. Oh man. Oh, that was a very fun one. Oh, um, we've got Nen saying thank you. Thanks for watching tonight. We've got Aaron saying love the Harry Potter astronomy connection. And thanks for tuning in, Aaron. Glad I appreciate your watching. Taylor says, uh, you have any news on the total solar eclipse next Monday? I'm going to be traveling to the path of totality, but I'm unsure of where to go because of predicted storms and cloud covers. Ooh, uh, yeah, let's check. So Emily and I have plans to hopefully go check it out in Missouri, too. Yeah, I took PPO um, to go see this, so I'm going to be a little, <laughs> I'm gonna be a little upset. And... I will. I will be upset, too. Um, so let's pull up uh, a weather forecast, and let's see if we can find out. So this is a national... Uh, weather service. Um, let me whoop, do that. Um, all right, so let's see if we can find out uh, sky cover, maybe. And oh, da, 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 da. how do I use this? This is not a very good website. Those tax dollars are doing a lot of. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> all right, AccuWeather. That seems reputable right um let's whoop. What's up here uh cloud cover we and so we may not have a forecast because that's a week out yeah, it's, it's um so i will say uh so taylor to answer your question the website that i find most reliable um for tracking a uh, visibility for astronomy um is going to be cleardarksky.com um, and maybe that's one Ben can uh, throw up in the um, <clears throat> comments, cleardarksky.com. Um, there we go. Um, so uh, this is a Kansas City site, but um, there are many other sites, and I'll show those in a moment. But, ba but basically, this gives you a forecast. Now, it's, it only goes um, a few days out, um, but it's I find it incredibly accurate. Um, and it'll show not just cloud cover, but uh, the actual like visibility, transparency of the sky, things like that. Um, and if you you know hover your mouse over something like if you were planning on stargazing Wednesday night at say eight o'clock, um, then you can see that it's uh, predicted to be clear and above average uh, visibility. Um, so really useful uh, website, um, uh, cleardarksky.com again. And uh, if you go to our map, um, you can see there are actually a number of sites. Um, they're a little uh, kind of random because they're correlated with, um, you know, a lot of like private weather trackers who have joined this network. Um, but so you were saying you were thinking uh, Arkansas, Texas, or Missouri. Well, if we pick, um, you know, let's see, let's pull up an eclipse map. Um, uh, it looks like it's going to go. Well, let's say Dallas, so it'll be going over Dallas. Um, where is Dallas? Let's see. Oh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, if I if I pick one of these um, trackers or one one of these sites near Dallas, then you can see um, you can see that prediction. So again, uh, t it's right now Monday evening, and this goes all the way to f a very early Friday morning. Um, so you know, about four days out essentially. Uh, so Taylor, if you um, you know, pick a couple of those sites, maybe bookmark them on a computer and you can kind of check back, you know, as we get closer to the weekend when we can start predicting that and, you know, we'll be doing the same thing and mm -hmm. fingers crossed everybody will get a chance to see it. Um, because as I've discussed in previous shows, the next uh, total solar eclipse that's going to be going over the continent of the United States will be in 2044. So mark your calendars uh, for that one. Uh, but thank you, Taylor. That's a great question. Um, so let me go back here. Um, so uh, this was a fun one that um, I don't think I've uh, I've told you about, but um, you who, the viewers it? or you me you you Emily. Um, let's see, where's the where's my chart? Figure out which show it was. Um, it was for when we hit a hundred thousand no one hundred and fifty thousand views. Um, we celebrated by doing, uh, I, I came up with 150 facts about space mm -hmm. that I ran through in, uh, I tried to run through in less than an hour. I, I mi failed miserably at that. I also messed up my PowerPoint and I ended up with fewer than 150, but we <laughs> called it good. But there were some really funny 
uh, I'll just <laughs> scroll towards the end. Um, it was uh, really entertaining as I was uh, getting close to the end of really frantically just trying to cover everything in the last uh, millisecond. But it turns out 150 is a lot, and trying to blaze through everything um, got a little frantic towards the end. So if you want to be really entertained and see me uh, kind of slowly lose sanity over the course <laughs> of an hour, this is a fun one to rewatch. Um, and, uh, oh, another funny thing about some of my earlier shows is that, uh, you know, right now I have some, some fancy, like, streamer lights that's kind of giving us a nice even, even, uh, glow on our face, but, uh, towards the beginning of the show, of, uh, my shows, I was just doing it with, uh, like a window right next to my face, and so there were a couple, uh, a couple shows where the lighting got really bad, um, like, uh, here, I'll pull up one of my first deep dives, the solar system, um, but, uh, when I got towards the end of my shows, or this one might have been okay because it was uh, dark out, um, but uh, there were a couple funny ones where, um, I had some pretty bad lighting on my face, um, but anyway, all right, that's not loading, um, the internet may have stopped working, who knows, we may be talking to nobody, um, but that's okay, uh, oh, here we go. Oh, oh, this is going to be the one where I've got my face shaved, though, I think. Ooh. Oh, that's not that bad. I've got a little, bit of, a little bit of stubble. I guess. It just feels so professional you're very, now. You're very pink in that. That's true, yeah. You know, look how tan I am. Or maybe I've just adjusted the white balance. Oh, don't do that to us. Don't do that. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and then the green screen breaks. There we go. <laughs> Where'd this... A peek behind the curtain for everybody. <sighs> it's going great. Oh, man. Um, well, let's see. Any... Oh, uh, I, I wanted to mention, um, I, oh, I almost forgot to mention some of my, some of my favorite live streams. Um, so, uh, when I was in Florida, oh, fix that a little bit. Now, when I was in Florida in the fall of 2020, I uh, decided to pre-record a stream. Um, that was a bit of a surprise um, for all my viewers, but it. Uh, I'll just. Um, I'm gonna put the desktop audio on because. Uh, edited and timed it really well so that um, faded into Specialist at Union Station, and thanks for tuning in. We're doing things a bit differently oh, today. In case Shout you out to my, my kind of dad. A change of scenery. Me, uh, maybe we've upgraded our green screen beach. technology with some Canaveral National. Or scene. maybe I took a fateful oh. flight on Oceanic uh, number eight fifteen. Oh, and man. I'll go ahead and mute this. Um, but uh, this was a lot of fun, and I I actually put a lot of work into preparing this, and um, <laughs> I uh, I took notes on. Uh, I took some notes on like yellow, uh, like notepad paper. Uh, so to, to match the vibe, I printed out some of my notes on yellow paper too, just to match. Um, but, uh, this was a lot of fun. I did some stargazing, uh, in the sand with pieces of charcoal, <laughs> which, which kind of worked, um, using, you know, a, a handheld camera. Um, I talked about, so the whole show was about celestial navigation. So how to navigate um, using the, the stars and the sky. 
Um, I used a beach ball to do some demonstrations about uh, longitude and latitude, which I thought was very creative and beachy, you know. Um, oh, and then I even, uh, I had a, a, a sextant that I talked about how to use measure, to measure uh, angles and distances on the sea. Um, so there's a lot of fun. My favorite part of the show, though, was probably uh, um, the ending um, when uh, I thanked everybody for coming. Uh, and then, um, let's see, I, uh, sure I just not. walk out into the ocean. Of course, I was still wearing my swim trunks, with the, and I, I still was wearing the red, same red shirt. Bye, Patrick. And that may be my crowning career achievement. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Oh, man. Uh, Taylor in the comments is asking, what's uh, the reason for the live streams coming to an end? Uh, pretty sad to learn they're ending. I know, Taylor, and, you know, these have been uh, an amazing experience for me. And I feel so lucky, especially back in 2020, that you know I was able to continue doing astronomy and space education um, and interacting with people when we were all stuck at home uh, and then being able to transition these um, and continue them as, you know, things kind of open back up. Um, and uh, yeah, and I, and I put together a lot of amazing stuff, but as things became uh, a lot more open and as more of my focus uh, went to the planetarium, you know, in person and uh, all the exciting things that we have planned there, um, it just kind of, uh, it, was, it was time to end and it's always good to leave something when you'll be missed rather than to overstay your welcome. But hitting 100 streams, uh, 350,000 views, almost 100 hours is, you know, pretty good number and it was kind of always my goal um that if we ever got this far this would be kind of the time and you know i'll never say never uh if there's a really exciting thing in space mm -hmm. like you know the next uh, artemis mission to the moon um i'm sure that we'll be doing something like this whether it's a live stream or a look back on you know hopefully a successful mission you know you can be sure that we'll be um we'll be we'll be streaming again someday but these regular monthly shows are uh, it's just time to kind of uh, phase them out and um, yeah, but you know, there's so many exciting things we have planned for the planetarium, some really exciting things for this fall that are kind of really going to transform the space into a really awesome place um, for not just astronomy and space stuff, but for a lot of amazing immersive experiences. And um, we've already done a few shows like that. Um, we had Laser Lou out uh, about a month ago doing some crazy interactive laser art uh, and and we've got a bunch of awesome things planned for the future too. Um, so yeah, you know, it's it's just time for this uh, part of my career to be kind of coming to a close and I'll still be at the planetarium, still running star tours and still doing exciting things. Uh, and my dad just tuned in, <laughs> so no worries. Uh, no worries, dad. Uh, thanks for uh, stopping by. Chrissy says, uh, you've come up with so many fun ways to teach us over the course of all your live streams. Thank you, Chrissy, for those really kind words. Rachel says, thanks for all the years of great programming. Thank you for your support. Uh, and yeah, thank you to uh, everyone who's watched. Um, and uh, oh, I just want to embarrass myself one last time uh, for my fiance and uh, no. pull up that, uh, that one I did with uh, VR. When was that? Oh, right. 21. Yeah, I had to show you that. Um, oh, I did also do, uh, you know, right before that, actually, um, <laughs> I used this uh, program, uh, oh, where is it? Um, I think it was, no, this one, all right. Um, maybe I don't have this playlist. Um, so, uh, yeah, this, this show, I, uh, oh, I'll, uh, I'll unmute this part. Um, the beginning of this was funny. There we go. This is so funny. <laughs> You're right. All right. All right. Oh, I didn't. You didn't play. play. <laughs> it's been a long four years. All right. Uh, all right. We're playing now. We're playing now. Come on. What's happening? This is a long intro. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. Hey. Hi, everybody. Didn't see you there. Welcome to another Planetarium live stream. Welcome to our 65th Planetarium live stream. That was our 65th live stream. Uh, oh, I realize I've turned off my... Uh, <laughs> um, 
background music. Uh, yeah, so this live stream, I did most of it in virtual reality, and um, I uh, I wish uh, people could have seen how my setup was, because I actually had like a floating window in 3D space of my notes, and then I did this uh, VR experience. It's actually a free experience. I think it's free or it's very cheap, um, where you can uh, basically experience the uh, Apollo 11 mission, and you can be right there in the uh, elevator as uh, Neil and Buzz and Michael Collins are going up. And uh, you know, it's a bit of an older simulation, so you know, it's, it's great. It looks great. High tech. Yeah, um, and then you can actually be in the cockpit uh, during the launch itself. But the best part is, um, you can actually attempt to land the uh, command module, or no, the descent module on the moon surface. So I did attempt this. I think I had to attempt it twice because I did crash the lunar lander on the moon on the first try. But you know what? I gotta say, it was it, doing it on my second try wasn't too bad, although I don't think the astronauts had two tries to do it. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, so this was this was the kind of shenanigans that I got into back in the back in the day. Uh, Judy says we're blessed uh, that we can talk to you anytime. What a blessing, our to us. Love you. Right back at you, Judy, and thanks for all your support and um, for watching these streams and uh, just being an awesome person. Jerry, one of our longtime watchers, says thank you. Bye. We'll see you next time, Jerry. <laughs> I'm sure you'll, I'll see you at the Planetarium someday, too. Taylor says, it's been a pleasure to watch your streams whenever I have had, had the chance. You're an awesome guy. Thank you for all that you've done and shared for us astronomy lovers. Right back at you, Taylor. Well, be sure to subscribe to us on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash KC Planetarium, uh, where we'll post all of, uh, you know, all of our uh, exciting space and astronomy news updates. Um, let's see. Here's, I think, when I crashed. Oop, yep. Too far from oh i overshot the landing so i didn't crash it um but let's see oh i think i did actually land it here um oh let's, let's uh let's watch the uh my my landing on the moon so um i believe those were all live streams are on our youtube channel and there we go if you guys crashed again <laughs> where's the here contact oh, light no. Oh man. Oh no, we're sliding. Oh! I think we did it! Too far from the landing site. B minus. Alright, A plus vertical speed. Not too shabby. A minus horizontal speed. Did not pass. You know what? I landed on the moon. And if you're going to complain about that, Houston, then why don't you go to the moon yourself? <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah, Houston. Yeah, why don't you go do it yourself? Oh man. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. All right. Uh, Tammy says, Bye, Phoebe Patrick. Thank you again for doing all these streams. hundred of them. Wow. Congratulations on that. We've enjoyed every single one. We thank you uh, to Ben for getting uh, these on. We'll miss you all. Thank you, Tammy. We've learned so much uh, and uh, just can't say which one is our favorite. Uh, that is totally fair. If you do have a favorite, uh, anybody watching, throw those in the comments. Um, but uh, there are many to choose from, and now you will have... Uh, all those episodes available on our YouTube channel, so you can rewatch anytime you want. Um, speaking of thank yous, as we start to wrap up this, our final stream, I do uh, want to give a couple thank yous and shout outs. Uh, first of all, uh, to Dalton, who four years ago uh, put together that intro animation. I believe it was Dalton who made that. Um, but uh, so thanks for uh, putting that together. And <laughs> I hope, hope you're proud of it because I have used it uh, for 100 episodes in the past four years. Uh, and in general, I wanted to thank uh, Union Station, all the departments, um, marketing especially for you know, helping to generate uh, excitement for these shows and for supporting them on all the social channels. Uh, thank you to um, the entire education team, all the supervisors and directors, um, uh, Sherry, Travis, and Denise especially for uh, helping me to continue these and for allowing time in the schedule, even though we're back open to the public. And, um, you know, there's a thousand things that... Um, that uh, you know need to get done at Union Station, but I appreciate your support and uh, keeping these going and uh, keeping a spot open on the schedule for it. Um, I want to thank uh, both my parents, uh, Eric and Larian, for uh, fostering uh, a love of science in me that lasted has lasted my entire life, and I wouldn't be where I am today without that. Uh, and especially, I wanted to thank my mom for uh, being on the original Science City Project team and for um, creating it in the first place and. Uh, you know, you've really inspired my entire career path, and I hope that I'm doing you proud following your legacy. Um, I wanted to thank my lovely fiance Emily, for 
um, being so supportive and patient <laughs> with uh, us sort of, uh, with me kind of taking over the office once a month uh, with all this craziness and for um, cooking dinner every once in a while during these streams and for being the Phoebe Wrangler most of the time. <laughs> uh, so thank you for your support. Um, thank you to Ben Smith, who's on the other side of the line and has watched uh, all 100 of these streams and uh, has copied and pasted comments uh, in my document so I can <laughs> see them and who has kept the streams going and figured out all the technical stuff and uh, is the number one person who is keeping the Planetarium Facebook page alive. So everyone say thank you to Ben in the comments because none of this would be possible without him. And he is incredible. Uh, and George, if you're watching, he deserves a raise. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, so thank you so much, Ben. I hope you enjoy the Monday nights back for your uh, monthly uh, monthly evenings. But um, it's been a real pleasure getting to, getting to shoot the breeze with you at the beginning of each one of these streams. Um, and of course, thank you to everyone who has watched any of these shows over the past four years and everyone who's still watching right now. <laughs> um, Eric, my father says, the first Halloween episode is my favorite. Oh yes, so I did a Twilight stream in black and white where we looked at some space mysteries. That's a fun one to go back and watch. Uh, I put on my tuxedo for that. I don't know if that still fits. I'll get a new one, don't worry. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> suit, a new suit, okay. yes. Um, Taylor says, take care of yourself, my friend. Right back at you. Christina, well done and thank you for all you've done. Thank you for uh, your continued support as well. And uh, before we wrap up, I think maybe uh, Emily and I have one last surprise to anyone <laughs> who is still watching. So you feel ready? Let's do it. All right. <laughs> it's going to be great. <clears throat> we are professionals.
be there. Yes, I'm on my way, and nothing but good times to share. So tell everybody I'm on my way, and I just can't wait to be home. Just can't wait to be home. Yes, I'm on my way, and nothing but good times to show. I'm on my way. Yes, I'm on my way. All right, everybody, we're on our way, and we thank you all so much for watching tonight. Once again, and for one last time, I have been your planetarium manager, Patrick, with my lovely fiance, Emily. Thank you to everybody who's watched, and thank you to everyone to support supporting us and to everyone still watching. And we'll see you next time somewhere. Come by the planetarium someday. And uh, yeah, happy stargazing, y'all. Bye. Bye.